Do you believe that there's levels to sins or are all sins created equal? Well, for the sake of time, all of us have sinned. Mm. Okay. So uh, before someone looks at one sin and what we do is sometimes we want to, because if we are as a person are not doing what somebody else is doing, we're quick to want to throw stones at them. In one text, uh, a woman was caught in the, uh, in the midst of adultery. The religious leaders came to Jesus and says, the law says that a person that is doing this in the committing adultery should be stoned to death. Mm -hmm. That's the law. But again, the one that established the law out of love says, okay, that's right, but you without sin, you cast the first stone. Say it again. You without sin, you throw the first stone. Make that make sense. I'm confused. Okay. Jesus was saying to them, you're right. She committed adultery. But if you never sinned, if you never sinned, then, then you, you, you have the right to take the stone and oh. kill her. So what he's saying is you all are trying to place judgment on this individual while you all also should be facing judgment as well. Correct. Mm -hmm. And because of that, the Bible said they all walked away. What we do is we try to take the place of God as if we mm -hmm. never did. Mm -hmm. And this is the problem with a lot of individuals that come to church or what you said, millennials. Mm -hmm. And I love the church. Okay, the church is a beautiful thing. But what happens is, it's the individuals, if we're not careful, will act like we never did mm. and make somebody else. And that's else, why they turned away, because they got, they got exposed. And they got exposed. But they know, I know you, though. Mm. I've seen your dirt. Mm. I've heard your story. Mm. You never share that, but you want to blast us. 